my 12 inch uh, Skywatcher Skyliner 300p Dapsonian telescope has developed a you know, stick, sticky uh, base problem. That's it's called a stick shin problem. Uh, it's practically the lazy Susie, as we see at the bottom of it, has needles, kind of rollers at the base of it. Uh, it's very sticky. So I decided to change all of that and use Teflon. That's the original design of the John Dobson using Teflon. So I ordered some Teflon pads, the kind of Teflon pads that you use in the, uh, under the furniture for moving on the surfaces without really leaving any marks. So I'm, I'm not going to unbox it and show you how it looks. So I've opened it and now let's see. Oh, these are 50 millimeter Teflon pads. They're composed of a rubber base, plastic base and Teflon top. And there is a metal washer in the middle. So you attach them with these screws to the uh, base of the Dobsonian. So I practically want what I want to do is to put three along the near the edge and then three near the rotating uh, axis of it. In this way, this tree will support the weight and those three will make the movement easy. I have two more which I don't know what to do but probably I will use them. I can use them like this. So this will give support to the whole telescope. And then this tree make the movement easy. So anyway, and because this will be on the base uh, of the rocker uh, carriage where the telescope is actually will be placed. So I'm thinking the base of it, they said you have to put something a little bit texture, some suggest formica, but I think the best thing is use something which is integral to that and doesn't need a sticking or it doesn't come off. So I think hammerite paint, I have a spray of it. This kind of a paint that when you um, a spray on the surface, when it dries, it creates this hammered textured surface. Uh, and I will use that. That gives this kind of a, a, a good, good surface with a slight friction, but at the same time, very smooth to move when it moves. This is the property of the Teflon. Uh, it's the, it doesn't start to move, but when it starts, it moves without uh, much problem, with a little force. And the thing is that under the weight, which causes friction, under force, it actually, uh, the friction is not increased. Under the force, this kind of becomes fluid as if, and the microscopic scale, and uh, lets the movement happen without any problem. The friction is reduces under the force practically. That's what the uh, Teflon does. So um, this is the unboxing. I will do that and I will film that. And I will show you also how it is. Okay, this is the Skywatcher 300P telescope, Dobsonian. This is the um, mount, altazimuth mount. Um, what in terminology called rocker. I painted it, I don't care about the, how it looks. Uh, it was, it is a really weak wood. So I just painted it with the hammerite paint to make sure that it is uh, waterproof and weatherproof. Then for the base, I placed the uh, eight Teflon uh, pads. They're made of a, a layer of the rubber then layer of a washer that the screw actually fits on that, fixes on that. And top layer, the gray one, is the um, Teflon, PTFE. And this is the base. I've placed eight of them. I measured from here to here, 18 centimeter in 200p on the base, 18 centimeter, a little bit more than the halfway. That's what I can say. And uh, 
Now it's moment of truth. I'm going to see if I can actually fit this. Is the bolt long enough to fit on this? So let's see. Some say that to use a formica, kind of a rough plastic. But some others say that uh, they have used successfully the hammerite paint, which gives a natural wrinkle and roughness to the paint. So I use that. Uh, um, uh, I may just repaint this. This is just uh, ornamental. I just wanted to make sure this is weatherproof. And now I'm going to put it. This will be coming on top of the Teflon. So this will be sliding on the Teflon. Okay, the actual bolt can go inside easy. There is a washer also, metal washer, and then there is also plastic liner that is like a tube. It goes inside here so there is no friction between the metal, there is no contact between metal and the wood. And this is the other side of it, which you can see the knot actually can tighten up on the top of the uh, bolt. So I'm just going to tighten it up and see how it moves. Okay, it moves but it's a little bit stiff, so I'm just going to, it's too tight, a little bit I will just loosen it, that's it, let's see, oh yeah, yeah, let's see, let's see, I'll, I'll put the telescope on it, now, let's just see, oh yeah, that's really good. And this is the result. Buttery smooth. <laughs> oh, I've never had it so good. Even near the Zimov is easy to move. And for that movement I can use this. Turn it around. Buttery, I mean buttery. It's not like a slippery like soap. It's buttery. It has some friction but it's smooth. It's not zero friction. Oh, lovely. Oh, God. I can use it again. Hallelujah. <laughs> now I'm going to collimate because I moved the uh, optical tube assembly from the mount and now it works. I mean, just later go for retaining the original uh, color. Just paint all over this black again, these edges. And that will be the telescope. Lovely. Perfect collimation. Secondary and uh, primary are now collimated. Beautiful. Amazing. Oh, so smooth, so buttery. <laughs> that was so horrible with that uh, lazy Susie. I mean, this one. Somebody suggested to use soap and I <laughs> made it worse. You couldn't move it with a, uh, you know, you should bring a hydraulic, <laughs> uh, you know, power to move that. Now it's beautiful. It just goes to being. The rest of it is beautiful. God may bless the John Dobson soul. He did great job. I watch his video that actually he he's doing it from making the mirror to put into Teflon. He uses three Teflon of course. And uh, we have now eight Teflon in this. Really smooth. And uh, it's waterproof also so no no effect due to the rain or anything on this or dew. The structure is solid, weatherproof. <laughs>